you have this job before you finish it? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, and stop. And how'd you get started in the sport? Uh, straight out of school, a couple of my mates were into drifting and I didn't really, you know, going through school I thought people with cars and potted up cars were a bit of a, you know, a bit of lame factor but uh, yeah. you know, I just sort of followed along with them and uh, bought my own car and slowly built it up and just started doing practice days out here in Mala. Yeah. Do you think that um, drifting's good because it keeps, it sort of brings an element of safety being able to have fun but do it? on the track instead of on the street? Drifting on the track, drifting started on the streets in Japan and made its way to the track and then to some sort of extent it happened here as well. And it's really good that we get to come out and use the track and places like that. It does, it keeps people off the streets and you can come out here to a practice mark whenever you want. And sort of under controlled circumstances, have a bit of fun in the car. Yep. So you started racing your own car. Yep. And now you're number one at the moment? Yeah, this that's season? That's right. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to pick up a drive for the CDS team this year and uh, you know, we've, we've done very well for the start of the season. Yep. Okay. How many rounds in? It's a five round season and we're two rounds in. Yeah. Um, so we've got two from two so far. Okay. Sweet. And how's the sport developing in, in Australia? Yeah, very well. Um, we've probably the, we have to be the second or third most televised sport. Um, we've got SBS footage uh, yep. and Channel 9 footage after every round. Um, teams are becoming much more professional. Um, you know, there's some, there's some big name sponsors in it nowadays. Um, there's a lot of money in the uh, yep. okay. Do you watch yourself on telly? Uh, yeah, yeah, you always got to, I like to watch the battles and a bit of self-analyzing, you know, yep. what I did right, what I did wrong, and it tells you what you need to work on, really. Um, you know, seeing yourself doing interviews never, never really good. <laughs> yeah. And um, what are your future plans for, for your career? Um, you know, I'm, at the moment, and always, you know, you drift. I drift for fun. I, I make sure I'm enjoying myself. Um, this year, I certainly am. I'm having a, I'm having a ball. Um, and if I can continue to enjoy myself and progress further with the sport, then as long as that keeps going, I'll keep going. Yep. Yeah, have you had any scary sort of moments? Yeah, yeah, you do. You have your odd, uh, your odd scary moments, but um, but overall it's pretty safe. The tracks we go to are, uh, are all, you know, they're all cans approved tracks, and they're all very safety conscious. I mean, the speeds get up. Some of the tracks we're entering the first corner about 160, 170 an hour. And, you know, when you stop and think about it, and you're driving home at 100 k on the freeway, you start thinking about it. So. Can you just tell us what is the idea behind drifting for people who haven't seen it before? Right. Drifting is basically controlled oversteer. Oversteer is when the back of your car loses grip and the car sort of comes out and the back end slides out. Um, it's, it was used briefly the race, like a racing technique and then the guy started drifting as it's known as it's Keith Sajir. Um, and he used to drift with Dennis X um, in the JVTC series. Um, from there it went to uh, Japanese guys took it up to the mountains and used to slide around the mountains uh, and from there went to the tracks and D1 and GP was formed in, the, in Japan and from there it spread. Okay. And finally, um, what's the best thing about taking people like me out? Is it scaring me or yeah, do you get much, a buzz out of it? Pretty much. We'll see how you go. I mean, yeah. 
it's interesting seeing the different people and how they react. Some yeah. people they treat it like a roller coaster. Some people are just silent. Yeah. I had the uh, I had the opportunity to take a cop around the indie circuit last year. Yeah. And I uh, managed to smack the wall while he was in the car and. Uh, he didn't say anything for about 20 minutes after. No. <laughs> I think I scared the wits out of the poor fellow. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Leighton. No worries. Cheers. My pleasure.